Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming at you in audio only. That is because uh, everything I usually use to record with like video has just decided to be flat when I decided to record tonight. So yeah, I'm just coming at you like an old school YouTuber who didn't reveal their face, just doing it with, uh, with what, well, audio only. I, I don't really know any other way to put it apart from that. For this video, we are going to be doing another map by my good subscriber friend, Skyper. We're going to be doing his training grounds of English football clubs map. We're not going to have a time limit as usual. We're just going to go with things how we always do and just aim for a good score. But before we get started, remember to hit that subscribe button. We are ever getting closer to 70 subscribers and I promise you it will be worth it because I have so much content in mind coming over the next few weeks. Let's get started as well. Training grounds of English clubs. This could be quite difficult actually because, you know, it's kind of difficult sometimes to find the stadium pop up on Google Maps, let alone the training ground. And sometimes the training ground is not necessarily near the city because I think, for example, like someone's like West Ham's is just, yeah, like in the middle of nowhere. So. We'll see. So we are at Coventry. We're at by somewhere that's a sports connection. I feel like it's going to be on a road like this out of the town or the city, I should say. Well, Banbury's on the sign. <laughs> so at least I can see my hometown on there. So ahead of us is the A445 and to the left is the A423. A423 to Salton and Banbury is there. Coventry is to the right. I would have thought rugby would have come up on that sign as well. I can't seem to find the A four four five anywhere. Here's the A four four four, the A four five. This one is the Coventry A forty five, and the A four two three, and that's Banbury as well. A four two three. It's the A four two three towards Banbury. We're really not that far away then. Honestly, with the risk of this taking a long time, I might just stick it in and hope for the best. It doesn't look too built up, though. I think I'm going to go with here. Oh, we're not far off. We're just down there. But where's this A4? There's a B445. Was I reading it wrong? If I was, then, I'm, then I honestly am an idiot. Is that a Manchester City badge on there? Manchester City, okay. Where's their training ground? That's a difficult one. Finding a training ground in a city. So, the Etihad campus, that's got to be it, hasn't it? Pretty sure that's what it is called. Okay, so we are on a road that says Northgate, so I'm going to guess that it's obviously like a Northgate into it. To match day and events, there's an Asda, some sort of bridge going over the looks of things, and a little crossroads. I'm assuming that we're about here. The fact that the Asda is literally just next to us. So I reckon we're about here. Let's go with it. Oh! Oh, the Asda was on the right, but the other way. Oh, that's annoying. I was going with the whole... Oh, well, there's the Etihad State. Oh, I'm a foolish, Benjamin. Foolish. Why would I do that with the Etihad on the left? When I was looking left, did I see a massive great stadium? No. So why have I done that? I don't know if it's just because I'm recording in a different way that maybe I'm thrown off. But honestly, that was... That was ridiculous. This one's Brentford's. Another bloody city. Brentford's training ground could be... Anywhere in London. Anywhere. I've managed to zoom somewhere. What does that sign say? Stuckley Road. Hounslow. So Hounslow. Where's Hounslow? We're talking one of these boroughs of London is Hounslow. Battersea. Hounslow. There we go. Okay, so we might be able to find Hounslow, but 
finding the Brentford. I must get Brentwood and Brentford confused. The Brentford training ground is a whole different story, really. It's actually very difficult. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> nice. Um, getting exactly where we are, that's a different story. We're obviously at the gate into it. It's obviously Lulworth Avenue. Lulworth Avenue, we've got to be about here. Let's stick it in the middle of those two. Let's just see. This is the gate in and seemingly a gate out. So I'm guessing we're at the gate in here. Come on! Five yards, 5,000 points. Oh, honestly, I can't see a trading ground. Which is a bit interesting. What's that sign? Leeds. Leeds, 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 Leeds. And we're on Thorpe Arch Grange. We've still got a good chance here getting a decent score. Coventry City just being down the road from Banbury really threw me off. I always feel like they're over by golf clubs for some reason. Something Wheelstow Car Park. Wheelstow. Is that somewhere around here? Let's go down this road and see what signs we see. Does this bus stop reveal where we are? We need to edge past it. It's really difficult. Another bus stop over there. Let's see if we can see that one. There's also a sign coming up. I want to try and read what it says on the road sign. Like how the Hounslow thing helped with Brentford. That's blurry. There's no HGV access to Wig Hill and Tadchester. Okay, if we can find Wig Hill, we might be able to figure this out. Obviously, again, yeah, we're going to be on the outskirts. We're not going to be that there to Bradford, surely. Ah, there's a sign at the end of this road. There's a crossroads. Okay. So, two and a quarter miles to the left is Weatherby. To the right is Wig Hill and Tadchaster. So Weatherby is obviously quite in the middle of nowhere. Because Leeds isn't even coming up on that. That does say A1. Can we find the A1? There's so many roads around Leeds. Uh, there's the M1. But I need the A1. Let me zoom out a little bit. Try and get our bearings back. Hey, okay, green signs. That should help. Still can't see the A1. I mean, there's the A1M. I think that's it, isn't it? So the A1 is apparently in motorway. Okay. Ah, the A1 is also down here. <laughs> oh, it's never ending. Um, we just need Weatherby. I can't see it anywhere. Ah, Weatherby. Okay. Okay. Weatherby on the A1. We've also got Wig Hill and Tad. Caster, round here somewhere. There's Wig Hill. There's Tadcaster. Oh, there's a prison. That's interesting. And the Fort. Oh, something about Fort Arch Village. There we go. Fort and Boston Spa. Okay. I want to say we are round here. I'm gonna stick it here and just hope. Ugh. We weren't far off. It was just over there, more towards Fort Arch and all that. So we did travel. I suppose we did go down a little way, didn't we? I'm not quite sure which way we did go, but still four six five five, and it's West Ham's training ground. I'm pretty sure they've got mobile ones. I think this is potentially potentially on the A12 because I walked past one of West Ham's training grounds on my way out. So when I walked the length of the A12 I remember seeing one of West Ham's training grounds and I went up this way. So let's just follow this along. Shadwell Heath is there. See it doesn't look like the A12 <laughs> but it could be the other side. It could be entirely the other side of it. There is a train. Is that a train line? 
Okay. That could help. Ah. West Ham Little Heath Sports Ground. Maybe that is the one I walked past. Because that is off the A12. In that case, we just need to find the railway line. There we go. West Ham Training Ground. Uh, now we just got to find exactly where we are. Is this the A12? This is High Road. So we ended up... Oh yes, we've got to be over this side. This seems like a, a road that just sort of shoots down into it rather than like curls round. But it could be... It could be either. It could be one of these three pointing down. We've got a one in three chance. No matter what, we're getting above 20,000, but I've got one in three chance of making this perfect. I want to say that it's this one. And at least if I put it in the middle one, it's nearer to the either side. So let's go for it. Oh, it's none of the three. Oh, no. I must have gone up this way, off, up Savile Road. and. Oh. I mean, it's still a decent score. It's still 4, 9, and 80. It's 24,472 overall. Considering Coventry was a little bit of a shambles at the beginning, we pulled it back with Manchester City and Brentford and Leeds. They were all right. And then we did find the West Ham training ground as well at the end there. It was just finding the Coventry one at the beginning. But I'll take that. I don't know. If we are on the top score of Skyper's map, let's have a look. We are indeed. We took a long time. 24 minutes is a long time. Took us a lot longer than everybody else. Took us a lot, lot longer than Skyper did to get 23,000. But I am pretty pleased with that. Thank you, everybody, for watching once again. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Apologies again that I am just in audio form for this one. Hopefully, I'll be back doing video well and audio obviously in time for the next video thank you everybody and i'll see you in the next one goodbye